So I decided about five years ago to start organic gardening and my husband built me a beautiful garden to do it in. I probably spend about five or six hours a week in the garden. So if I were doing it conventionally, I would probably spend one to two hours. All I would have to do is go and spray some, some pesticide and take care of it. Bugs would die and, you know, there wouldn't be as many problems. But being our, you know, an organic gardener, I have to go out every day. Insecticidal soap is one that's very popular and that works a lot for aphids and water will work just as well if you just spray them off. As far as the nutrient content, uh, the studies show that there probably is not much difference between traditionally grown and organic foods, but organic gardening is a way to decrease your exposure to pesticides and then also decreased exposure in the environment to pesticides. For me, it's active. Um, I'm doing something, but yet I'm very aware of my surroundings and I'm very present. You know, I'm turning the leaf over, I'm looking at the bug, I'm watching the bug, getting rid of the bug. <laughs> I have carrots, broccoli, onions, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, beets. I have some Swiss chard. You focus on what you're doing and it's relaxing. It's nice to be able to go out in the garden, clip off lettuce or, you know, pick a vegetable or just uproot a vegetable and bring it into the house and cook it. It's, uh, it's, it's very fast and it's great to be able to do that without going to the grocery store. There is a lot of satisfaction and, and I almost feel proud <laughs> that I was able to take care of this plant so that it would bloom and fruit, you know, and give us food. I'm happy when I'm out here in my garden. <laughs> I am actually developing a module on sustainable farming that I'm working on right now that I'm going to bring into the class and we'll talk about organic versus traditional. We'll talk about the green revolution that occurred in the 40s and 50s and uh, how we can, as a nation, uh, feed the people and not destroy the environment.